Well, <laughs> I promise that you Mormons that write in and say <laughs> your cult stuff, I gave uh, the University of Steve <laughs> a fair warning, two or three fair warnings. He looks at one video out of whatever, 320 or something, and he knows everything. <laughs> God, if that ain't a Mormon, I don't know what is. These people, <laughs> the things they say and do testify to a cult and to the stupidity of being brainwashed. Okay, little Steve. <laughs> I'm going to tell you as a counselor what I think. First of all, I think you're a BYU student. <laughs> That's one of the things I think. Your um, handle, University of Steve, uh, tips that off a little bit. And also, <laughs> I'm just going to take a wild guess here, Steve, because <laughs> I have a son named Steve, uh, which is nothing to do with what you're saying. You have um, focused on the over-organization of uh, music that I read to you from the handbook number one of 2010 and I gave you <coughs> the um, chapters and verse. <laughs> you don't have a 2010 handbook. Who the hell are you fooling? You said, I didn't hold it up. <laughs> Steve, you got shit for brains. You don't have to hold the book up. All you have to do is go get your own book and see if I've quoted it correctly because now you can be sure I have a copy of it, okay? <laughs> you can go on the damn internet and get a copy of it, Steve. Um, you've sent me, <laughs> what, eight messages on the over-organization of music in the church and have defended it and defended it and defended it. And I, I wrote you a note, everyone can look at my uh, comments, I never purge a comment, never. So you're on record and I'm on record. I'm transparent. You're hiding, because <laughs> you're a Mormon. <laughs> and your doctrine, you have to hide. Steve, I read to you unbelievable cult organization over organization i can't even go back and think of it because it was in front of me but there were pages of this and that this music for this this music for that the name of this person and obviously <laughs> steve i'm gonna make another wild guess <laughs> i think you probably sing in a choir okay not everybody that sings in a choir that's male is gay. Listen to that. Watch this, Steve. I don't have my garments on. <laughs> and I'm glad. Um, boys and men that sing in a choir are going to be cut out of um, certain material. Now, I'm not going to say that material is real um, masculine. <laughs> Please, don't throw darts at me and don't go, well, of course you won't because <laughs> you're, you're effeminate anyway, so I'm just talking to myself here. Steve, defending that kind of organizational pattern makes you look stupid as hell. Now, you, you attacked me and you said, well, you don't know anything. Have you ever sung in a choir? Well, you know, I sang in a choir about as much as most LDS guys do. They got me up there in the church choir, oh, maybe four or five times, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like the boys I was singing with, <laughs> but they liked me. <laughs> so, Steve, Steve. I'm not saying you're gay. Not that there's something wrong with it, <laughs> Jerry. Fine field. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Not that there's something wrong with it, because I have gay friends, and uh, I don't have anything um, against overt, out of the closet gays. But what I do have a big problem with <laughs> is all of the Republicans that hate gay people, but they're in the 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 Congress. Um, restrooms <laughs> there's more gay republicans than democrats ever thought about being gay
fanatical people who attack certain things are using what we call in psychology projection. They're projecting out who they really are. Now, I haven't sang in the Tabernacle Choir, okay? Let me tell you, one of my wives, Sandra, <laughs> one, of the, one out of many crazy ones, sang in the uh, Colorado Chorale. I don't know if they call it Colorado, but the Chorale, which is the second Tabernacle Choir of the Mormon Church. <laughs> and I went to her practices, and I sat there, and I listened, and I watched. I didn't sing. <laughs> they didn't want me to sing. <laughs> Steve, I promised that I would put your name up and your bishop and your stake president can go down through my video and see your handle and if they know who you are, you're going to get excommunicated from your church. I've warned you not to put any more up or I was going to do this and I have. I have made uh, my comments. I think that um, you probably <laughs> sing in a choir. And I don't see that as a real masculine uh, thing to do. I'm not saying all uh, people, men that sing in a choir, are gay. I'm saying some are gay, and they're probably going to t tend to be uh, more gay in that kind of an activity. Now, it's very similar to Hollywood. When you get choreographers and you get extremely talented, uh, gifted people, making movies and sets and decorations and whatever, many times they're gay people because many times gay people uh, come with certain amount of artistic um, gifts that the rest of us don't have. Uh, me, being bipolar, I have certain gifts that the rest of you don't have and that is that uh, memory. I can almost remember uh, <clears throat> word for word. It's not a memory as much as it is being able to relive something. Also, um, bipolar people, not all, but many are extremely smart. They're geniuses and, and you can go down, look on the damn internet, look at all the people that were bipolar. It doesn't mean everybody is, but you Mormons, <laughs> you want to categorize, you want to stereotype, you want everyone to believe the way you do. I don't, and most of the world doesn't. There's no confusion over your religion. There's no misunderstanding of your religion. People look at it, they understand it, there's no confusion, and they say, screw you. It's nutball stuff. It's a cult. And I only demonstrated out of the handbook that if there's that much organization just in music, anybody that's using the left side of their brain is going to say, well, that looks pretty cultish to me. Uh, so, you know, I have a little experience with the corral. I, uh, you know, have a, a little bit of common sense. If there has to be that many pages, that many directors, that many closing prayers, that many opening prayers, that many in, in interlude prayers, that many this and that many that, piano here, organ there, my God, Steve, you're being an asshat. It is definitely cult organization because it gives so many people something to do like you today, uh, you can't think. Now please, you don't have to read all 300 or listen to all 300 videos. I wouldn't, but I would get a, a taste. You know, it's kind of like you uh, uh, just taking a piece of the puzzle. Go look at another 15 or 20 videos. You can't stand that because what happens is it's just like this one. You're fanatical, idiotic, right side of emotion, my testimony, I feel the spirit. And over here, the left side of your brain is going, what the hell? An organization like that certainly is a cult behavior. So Steve, uh, welcome to the Mormon Club. You'll see others down there uh, that I have exposed <laughs> and their bishops have excommunicated them or the state presidents that we need to have a little chat. And if you don't think the Mormon Church can scan down through those um, Facebooks and through YouTube and find you, uh, you're mistaken. And uh, I hope <laughs> you're not in a court of love and end up singing <laughs> in the choir of excommunication. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You're a great guy.